all times glad and joyful for almighty god loves a cheerful giver gather yourself in your youth a great treasure of good habits be seekers of truth and doers of justice respected sisters teachers parents and my dear friends a warm welcome to all of you as we are celebrating the merry what week we the students of ha proudly presents before you one of the virtues of merry what sincerity sincerity means being honest and straightforward without any practice misrepresentation or deceit sincerity prepares the mind to accept all the virtues it enables other values to grow strong and grow fast it wins the heart of others and enables a person to be nearer to god let's evoke the presence of our god through a prayer dance മഹാൻ സ്നേഹം മുഖഭാവം രക്ഷാദാനം അഭിരാമം മഹൽ സ്നേഹം മുഖഭാവം രക്ഷാദാനം അഭിരാമം യേശു സർവേശ്വര ദേവാശ്രയം നീ യേശു സർവേശ്വര ദേവാശ്രയം നീ തിരുമുഖവും തിരുപദവും തിരുപ്രഭയും തൊടുന്നു ഞാൻ ആശ്രിത വത്സലനെ മഹൽ സ്നേഹം മുഖഭാവം രക്ഷാദാനം അഭിരാമം മഹൽ സ്നേഹം മുഖഭാവം രക്ഷാദാനം അഭിരാമം യേശു സർവേശ്വര ദേവാശ്രയം നീ യേശു സർവേശ്വര ദേവാശ്രയം നീ തിരുമുഖവും തിരുപദവും തിരുപ്രഭയും തൊഴുന്നു ഞാൻ ആശ്രിത വത്സരനെ മഹൽ സ്നേഹം മുഖഭാവം രക്ഷാദാനം അഭിരാമം the words of lord that always lead us in the successful path so let's listen to the holy bible i am reading from the holy bible sorry pause let it romans chapter 12 verses 9 to 21 
Love in action. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in application, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil from evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing so, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with the good. This is the words of God. Gratitude is the language of the heart. So, it's time to praise and thank you, our Lord, for the blessings showered upon us. God creator of all that is good. We thank you for giving me reward to the world. Impelled by the fire of your love, may reward did not shrink from risk, labor or suffering. She lived and worked for her glory. She was a pilgrim who spread the joy of the gospel. Lord, our loving Father, we thank you for bringing us together under the patronage of Mother Mediwa and guidance of CJ sisters. We thank you for all the blessings you showered upon us through our principal Reverend Sister Shirley, manager Reverend Sister Priscilla and all other dear sisters. For this we praise and thank you O Lord. Amen. Prayer is an intermediate communication and connection with our Creator. So now let us join our hands and pray to the Lord Almighty. Heavenly Father, enlighten what is dark in me, strengthen what is weak in me, mend what is broken in me, bind what is bruised in me. Help me revive my soul with all sincerity, O oh Lord, when I don't know how to navigate uncharted waters. Guide me with your wisdom and let me cross the path of obstacles with a sincere mind. Help me in my studies and with a loyal heart let me be useful to my teachers and friends. With a sincere attitude let us attend our online classes and never cheat in exams. Help us to be sincere to ourselves and truthful to our teachers. For this we pray to you Lord. Almighty and loving Father. We know that everything is in your capacity and control. We ask with all the powers in our minds and hearts that you keep this coronavirus pandemic from continuing to spread undetected out of control. Give government officials the ability to manage people safely. Oh loving Father, be present to people who need your loving touch because of COVID-19 and comfort individuals and families who lost their dear ones in this pandemic. For this, we pray to you, Lord. We are praying to Ketar and to Him. We are praying to Ketar and to Him. And to Him shall the praying of the people be. We are praying together unto Him. We are offering together unto Him. We are offering together unto Him. And to Him shall the offering of the people be. We are offering together unto Him. We are thanking together unto Him. We are thanking together unto Him. 
And to him shall the thanking of the people be. We are thanking together unto him. In her vision of the just soul, Mary Ward sees three virtues that adorn the soul. Freedom, justice and sincerity. Sincerity or integrity recognizes that a true relationship is grounded in being honest about who we are with God, with ourselves and with others. Throughout her life, we see how Mary would remain true to her belief and inner conviction. The maxim, show yourself as you are and be what you show yourself, reveals us the importance of honesty and sincerity. Mother Mary would firmly believe that we should always be our true self and should not pretend what we are not. We should be sincere to ourselves, to others and to God at all times which is the beauty of the just soul. Lives of great men and women are always inspiring. Now, let's see some of the maxims of Mother Mary Ward. and appear such as we are. The golden words of Mother Mary would evoke our thoughts to be sincere in all our hopes and dreams. Help us be sincere in all our dealings at home as well as in place of work. Let us be loyal in our day-to-day -day actions and treat others with respect and truthfulness. When we are sincere in our actions, we never ought to worry about the reactions. Sincere actions are self-rewarding. So, my dear peers, try being sincere in all activities like studies, prayers, helping others and every single date. Now, let us conclude our prayer service with a thanksgiving song. With a